it didn't strike anyone, did it? It doesn't matter. It's Let's move threat. on. It it's a threat by Ying. It's a threat. Uh, Mississauga has announced uh, first can a city in Canada to license and regulate the production of medical marijuana. We were talking about this in Hamilton for a while. I'm not sure for a while. I'm not sure where it sits right now. Tara, what are your thoughts on all of this? Have we missed the boat? Should we be uh, chomping at this bit a bit more? Well, it, it, it just shows involved? it just shows that uh, Mississauga City Council is definitely on the ball. Uh, they recognize that uh, regardless of what you think of, about pot, um, the federal government has mandated that it is legal for, for corporations now to come out and to produce medical marijuana. Um, and so they're taking the bull by the horns. They're saying, hey, we are open for business. Um, you know, come come to our city. We will show you the areas that, that we, we want you to set up in. Um, this is your yearly fee. This is mm -hmm. um, These are the inspectors that will come on a yearly basis. So they've got this infrastructure set up so that people can come and open up their business. And, and I think that we are kind of going towards that in Hamilton, but we have to step it up. Where are we on this, Larry? Well, I think Hamilton, like all communities, they received the legislation being uh, uh, suggested by the federal government and have asked staff to look at it. There are issues of zoning. Do you grow it in agricultural areas? Do you grow it in Because in initially the, it had to be area. grown in an agricultural it, area, it, it, it not? Right, and, yeah. and so there's some flexibility around that. And, and I know of private businesses as well that have come forward to the city and, and said, we are interested. So the city is looking at all these regulations. It's not as easy as, as it sounds, because there's a whole bunch of issues related to this, mm -hmm. not the least of which is security, not the least of which is bonding to make sure that the right kind of business people, the right intentions get into, involved here. The police need to be involved. So it's pretty complex. How Mississauga managed to fast track this, I don't know. Uh, they, but they had their mind on other issues than Yeah, maybe they're not worried Hamilton. about shove gates and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> what are mm -hmm. your thoughts, Alex? Should we be heading down this road? I think that uh, Hamilton should diversify its investments. We should be helping uh, the potato chip industry to complement uh, what they're doing over <laughs> sure. in Mississauga. Um, I think that opening a Doritos <laughs> plant, pizza. Doritos, pizza, That's pizza you yeah, name yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Um, right along the border. <laughs> yes, and uh, I, you know I we're see not some customers <laughs> right around this room. Actually, <laughs> you're looking at no, yourself, no, no, right? Like you guys, so no. you and Trudeau. Um, <laughs> I think, though, you know, for me, the bigger issue is is that we've gone down this path. Is it going to be um, a better process? Is it going to ensure you know a better product for patients who do require medical marijuana? Does it? Is it going to make the the product cheaper? as opposed to growing it at home in, in the comfort of your home and uh, I think that um, you know there's there uh, there's all kinds of questions that come into play for me about actually opening up these industrial pot growing facilities should Hamilton do it you know if there's someone who who's interested um, in business um, people who are I really don't have a, a problem with it per se but um, there's big pharmaceutical companies yeah. and the factories all mm -hmm. over Ontario well, well the other question is um, how many how many facilities is the federal government going to license I don't think mm -hmm. they're going to have bazillions of them well and that's the why it's it's important to get on the ball f uh, quickly and Do you think there's taxes, I, there's I taxes seen, to be paid. You know, Tara, for someone who was here. dead set against Trudeau, you oh, sure Alex, are on board for bringing Alex, that marijuana quite, to I'm the quite city. I'm quite industrious, so and whenever I can find tax dollars coming into city here. coffers, is it going to be Trudeau or Harper? I'll be that person. It's medical marijuana. Are we, let me ask you this, Larry. Are we putting the systems in place and the structures in place for eventual legalization? Oh, well, because here we have growth you know and distribution. What, uh, even five years ago, I would have said to you, I don't think we'll get there. Remember, I was a high school principal and vice principal. <laughs> My job was to catch kids, yeah. and I saw a lot of kids and families in trouble over drugs. And you were drugs. young once, Larry. Uh, but, but I predated, you know, beer was, was our, <laughs> our issue when I was young. Uh, thankfully, uh, but Aren't I you had post kids growing up yeah, as well. Yeah, I know. Listen, <laughs> doesn't it like acid? No, but, you look but really well. <laughs> all right, story. listen, listen. The, the, the point, though, is that we are liberalizing, and maybe that's, a, maybe that's the right thing. But there are some social costs to all of this as well. Uh, do you do you see this happening? Do you see honestly that this could be in place as a legalized well, sure. model? The conservatives yeah. are paving the road, and uh, the liberals are hoping to drive down it. There you go. I, yeah, in in my lifetime, definitely. Well, they're driving the car now. All right. Oh uh, gosh, no. Let's move on. The city <laughs> has spent 3.1 million so far in its quest to sue the federal government for the 75 million over the alleged wrongful interference in the building of the.